Hey everyone, my name is Justin Fox and welcome back to the channel, where we talk about news involving gaming, pop culture, and other topics in quick discussions to give you straight to the point news about various topics in the world. So if you watched my last video, I was talking about how Sega was partnering with Microsoft and how there might be a new console with their name on it. You know, not a brand new console from Sega, but Sega partnering with Microsoft to basically make a console that would sell well in Japan since Microsoft wasn't really selling that well in Japan at all and since Sega was a you know a at least marketable brand in Japan they were supposedly you know band together and create this console to get it out to more people so they can actually pay attention to it and while I thought those rumors might have been true and they still might be true who knows but since yesterday when after Sega basically announced this this whatever this is this Game Gear Mini thing there might be some speculation that those rumors might not have some validity to it. So looking at this thing, I don't really see what they're trying to do with it, but it's this Game Gear Mini, you, you can see it right here. Takahashi wa color ja nai to tanoshiku nai to sengen shite kara 30 nen. Ano Game Gear ga atarashiku natte kaette kuru. Sega! Sega setsuritsu 60 shou nen o kinen shite ミニを超えるミクロサイズにゲームギアミクロ選べる4つのカラーバリエーション世界中に愛されたカラー液晶形態ゲーム機ゲームギアの魅力をミクロなボディに牛牛と凝縮ボディカラーごとにそれぞれ
sell these in limited quantities to garner a you know a rare type of thing where you have these really limited consoles that you can only get at so many places and it'll spike up the price for it and spike up the profit for it and you know that might be what they're trying to do and i've also heard rumors that they're trying to you know get a one-up on nintendo since there are rumors that they're going to release a game boy micro or game boy mini or something like that and you know that might be something that they're trying to do to one up nintendo to basically say that they did it first you know before the game boy mini takes off or whatever but um i'm not sure if this is the best way to go about that and you know since it's really not that you know it's really not that viable for people to actually to actually just play it on the go because the screen itself is really too small to play on the go and even if you're doing that you can't really see you have to really squint to see the damn thing and i know they're bringing out this other accessory for it the sega big window or whatever and it looks like it's just the dumbest thing i can really think of because you got this small console already and you're putting this big ass screen on top of it and and how can you really play that without for it to be really awkward to hold and awkward to play at any time you're playing it then I'm not sure if people will get into that. Maybe they will. Maybe maybe they won't. Um, you know, it's really something that I don't think that Sega is really thinking about in the long term. I think they're just trying to get a you know get a one up on Nintendo to just say that they started the micro phase of the you know the smaller handhelds that came out back in the day, and you know they're just trying to make something out of nothing. And while this might get a hold up in you know japan they might it might sell well i don't know but if it if this came out in the states right and people saw this they would trash this whole thing all day all day long but because you know people have been trashing the game gear for a while and you know even if the games were pretty good they didn't really care for the screen itself because i remember people were really you know where people were complaining about the battery life and it required these six batteries like six double a batteries you know to just get the thing to work and even if you got all those and you started playing it, it wouldn't last long because people were complaining that it only lasted for about a couple hours or something like that and they had to get a few more. I don't know, I didn't really have one, but I remember people complaining about that. They said they didn't, it only lasted for about five minutes or something like that, but I don't know if that was true or anything where they were just exaggerating, but that's what they were talking about then. But in this thing, I don't know if the battery life is going to be better or not, but um, I assume so because I'm assuming that it's upgraded, but if... It somehow has the same problems that the Game Gear had, then this is just not gonna go over well with people. So, you know, I hope that Sega knows what they're doing, but you know, with this whole thing, I'm not sure if they really are, and they're just trying to get a one up on a phase or a trend or something like that. But going back to the Sega Microsoft rumors, I'm not sure if this was the big announcement they were trying to, you know, announce. You know about them making a new console or whatever but this may or may not be the announcement that they were trying to say we're not i'm not really sure but if it is it's really a not really something that sega would have you know advertised like that but um you know the person who accidentally talked about this i'm not sure if this is the announcement they were talking about and you know as i mentioned in my last video i posted in the comments that there were articles saying that it didn't really have anything to do with Microsoft. So the announcement might be about this, but I'm going to hold out that it has to be about something else because this isn't really something that, you know, Sega would hype up as much as a big announcement or something like that. But, you know, this is Sega we're talking about here. So this just might be something that they actually thought of and they're actually trying to hype up to people. But Sega, you know, they don't really think about things as much as they really need to so this just might be the announcement it might not be but i'm gonna hold out that they have something else planned but we probably won't see anything like that until these you know these riots these protests end and that might not be for a while so we might just have to wait a little bit longer for things to settle down really and to get back to whatever this announcement may or may not be so you know let's just hold out i guess until Sega says anything else I guess um but you know it's just something that we're gonna have to deal with for a while so if this is it then that's a huge disappointment but I'm still gonna hold out that they have something else planned so anyway thanks for watching if you liked the video please give a like and subscribe if you haven't already also if you like comic books then check out my comic book called The Ultimate Crusaders on Indiegogo it's a sci-fi action adventure series based on the mid 90s and 2000s cartoons and comics 
If you want to know more, there will be a link at the end of the video and in the description. This is Just a Fox and I'll see you all later.